Okay, this is Richard Hobbs. This phone is on inyourschurch at gmail.com. This program is copyrighted by Richard Paul Hobbs at gmail.com. All rights reserved, 2018. Today's date is uh, April 19th. It's a Thursday night, late, going to be Friday soon. I'm making this short video to post the description, which is long. It'll be cut off. But then you can go to um, nyourschurch.wordpress.com and see all of it, or you can go on Facebook and see all of it. It's a story about how Richard Hobbs um, knew where Billy Graham went to church with his family and did go on occasion to sit next to them in church, the family, and um, how Richard knew where they went but didn't tell too many persons because uh, they wanted to have a private family time at church and didn't want the public to know a lot about it. I suppose there were reporters who would have known where he went to church, but I don't think it was too greatly highly publicized. And there's more in here about Richard and his uh, studying and uh, public policy and reading the encyclopedia from Russia, the Soviet encyclopedia, which was never finished, and how Billy Graham is the one and only, if probably the only, American evangelist. There might have been something in there about Billy Sunday, but none of you probably even know who Billy Sunday was. He was a preacher that Billy Graham really uh, imitated and followed. He was the Billy Graham of the century before Billy Graham was Billy Graham, or at least the decades before that, um, never getting quite as famous as Billy Graham. Billy Graham became famous when uh, Truman invited him to, uh, Truman was still vice president, and Truman invited him to come in and listened to him and accepted him. And then, of course, um, uh, um, the great man who owned the huge newspaper industry uh, he, that the movie was made about him called Rosebud. Uh, what's his name? His daughter ended up being a villain and uh, being kidnapped. Hearst, Randolph Hearst, made Billy Graham famous through uh, by telling the world, his, his reporters, to puff the guy up. He said, Puff Graham, put it on the teletype. And the next night, all the reporters in the country were in Los Angeles at one of the last nights of Billy Graham's crusade, made him famous overnight, and millions of, many, many people came, and they extended it for a couple of weeks, and his fame began there, and then grew and grew and grew until... Uh, he was certainly one of the greatest evangelists of modern times. He certainly, he and Milton Friedman helped bring down the Soviet Union with truth and freedom and honesty and the gospel. And a person who would have had a copy of the Soviet Encyclopedia in Russian or the translated one into English would have been able to read the entire gospel story message about uh, in the entry that was under Billy Graham's life and his entry in the Soviet encyclopedia. So God always works and uh, the gospel is going out no matter how the devil tries to stop it. We're going to cut this and we hope you'll read the description and follow up. Thank you. Please join our church. Become a member. Bye.